we go. Okay, guys, anyone who knows this business knows that the demographic with absolutely the most potential would have to be personal trainers. And we are so fortunate to have one of the top personal trainers, not only in this business, but in the UK, Mr. Ollie Best. He's best, literally. He's crushing his business. He's combining not only his PT business, but the world's best health and wellness company in and out. Please welcome Ollie Best all the way from London. How are you, Ollie? I'm very well. What a welcome that was. Thank you very much. <laughs> Might have been practicing all these awesome people on here just before you came on. So, Ollie, please, mate, we are dying to find out how Arbon found such a team, mate. Um, so, uh, like if everyone could mute themselves, that'd be awesome. Anyone not muted? Yep. Go. Cool. Yep. Um, so I'll give you a brief background of um, basically how I got into personal training initially and then obviously how I was introduced to Arvon. So um, I've been a personal trainer and transformation specialist for over 10 years. So I very much focus on lifestyle habits rather than quick fixes and stuff like that. So um, when I was actually introduced to Arvon, it was kind of a perfect fit um, because when I was, <clears throat> when I started to transition my time from my previous career over to personal training. I actually love personal training. I'm very passionate about helping people. Um, but when I started to transition my time over, I so soon realized that the hours I was working as a PT were the hours I was getting paid for. But if it didn't work, then I didn't get paid. This is obviously uh, way before uh, online personal training became a thing and stuff like that. But for me personally, um, Online personal training doesn't have that personal um, touch to it that actually gives the extra uh, benefits that actually training one-to-one -one gives. Um, and uh, I don't really do a lot of online PT work. I do it occasionally, but most of my clients are face-to-face. -face, uh, so I can, I can really help them get their habits and their routines set in place so that they can actually see the benefits of it and um, change their lifestyles around essentially. So um, because I didn't have that time leverage, I knew that I wanted to do something else alongside it, um, but I didn't know what until I was introduced to Arbon. Got it. So I'd, I'd looked into um, social marketing and network marketing before. Um, <laughs> ironically, um, about two years before I actually started personal training, um, I was quite overweight and I decided to do a meal replacement um, shake diet from another company. Um, and I actually got food poisoning from Anando's, which is a chicken restaurant. Um, and I got uh, Samalina, um, Samalina, yeah. whatever it's called. Um, and I lost about a stone and a half in a week. So I thought, wow. oh, I don't need to do that anymore. Um, <laughs> um, so <clears throat> that was kind of, I looked into those kind of um, businesses, but I personally wasn't going to use the products. So yeah. I couldn't recommend them to my clients. So when I was introduced to Arbon, I, I, I looked into the background of the, the products and then the business and everything kind of made sense because the products focus on health on the inside rather than weight loss on the outside. Yeah. Um, so it was actually creating the lifestyle, the healthier lifestyles that I was already doing. So it was a perfect fit. And the fact that you can build, um, build a time leverage through it as well, uh, sold it to me. So that right. was it. So Ollie, mate, I'm just gonna wind it back a little bit. I wanna ask you a question that everyone's hanging on the edge of their seat for. And this is the, an age old question. How did you get approached and how would you recommend people approach PTs? Because, mate, I get this feeling that you're a finicky lot, mate. <laughs> I like, wouldn't say that we're finicky. <laughs> I would say that we... Um, so this isn't everybody in the fitness industry, but yeah. um, a high percentage. We have big egos. Pure and simple. Yeah, got it. If yeah. someone approaches us and says that we have a better way of helping the clients, majority of PTs aren't going to take interest. Yeah. Because they're not willing to listen, let alone learn um, about a different way because everybody thinks that they have the best way. 
That's why there's so many diets out there, so many different ways of training because everybody has, everybody thinks their way is best. Yeah. Um, but in reality, obviously, everybody has options. And if something works for them, great. If it doesn't, then go do something else. Right. Um, now, how I actually um, approach personal trainers, um, I get a lot of rejections as well. Um, it's the nature of the business. And at first, it affected me because I thought, well, what, what, what have I seen that they haven't? Yeah. Um, but I've kind of fine-tuned uh, how I approach other PTs because at the end of the day, personal training will never build the income uh, that Arbonne can. Yeah. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're online or face-to-face, -face, it's just, it, it's not possible. Um, so how can I get that across? So my initial message, so a lot of my um, messages are cold contacts, uh, mainly through Instagram, actually. I use Instagram a lot more than Facebook. Um, I normally say, uh, I normally uh, greet them, introduce myself. I can now say that I am a regional vice president with uh, an incredible company. Yes. Wow. Um, I just say, um, in, in terms of fitness, I, no, I don't normally say health and wellness or something like that. I normally say health and fitness because we are in the fitness industry. Right. Um, and that normally goes down better and I get a better response um, than I, once, I, um, once I change that around. So I always say health and fitness, online health and fitness brands. Um, and I'm looking to partner with other PTs in the industry. Um, I'd love to have a chat with you um, over the phone or one-to-one -one or see a video just so that I can um, share the information with you. I always like to do um, phone calls uh, because they can actually hear my passion um, on, uh, through my voice rather than just sending a video out. Yeah. Um, just, to, just so that, because it's not necessarily what you say to them, it's how you say it. So if you're automatically excited and they can feel that, then they're automatically going to say, right, okay, yeah, I want a bit of that, rather than just sending a video or a message with a longer um, windy um, saying, oh, uh, I've got this incredible business um, that's gonna change your life and stuff like that. You know, people get spammed all the time and they're just gonna scroll and they're gonna ignore it. So yeah, face-to-face, -face, phone call, let them hear your energy. Yeah. Um, yeah, uh, and that's essentially how I uh, contact PTs. Super, Ollie. Now, um, I just get a sense that that's fractionally easier for you because you're already a PT. So most of us on here aren't PTs. So, mate, what right. approach would we use? What verbiage would we use? What outreach method would you recommend for non-PTs as an enrolling way to get PTs um, interested yeah. in what we do? So... The industry is full of supplements. Yeah. So what we have um, that's going for us is the fact that we actually promote health rather than quick fixes. Yes, a lot of people do the 30 day plan for weight loss. Yeah. But if we actually focus on, if you actually start messaging saying, um, we've got a, um, our products promote health and work on the inside, rather than focusing solely on the outside, more people are start, are gonna look into that rather than the fact that it's just a quick fix um, or meal replacement um, or anything like that. Because the plan, the way I approach people about the plan is that it's a whole food diet yeah. supplemented with the Arbonne products. So yeah. all of the Arbonne nutrition is, to, um, is used to get the most out of the foods that you're actually eating. So it's not necessarily it, it, you are what you eat, it's it, you, you are what you absorb from what you eat. So you, the more nutrient uptake you have, the more energy you have from less food, which obviously creates a calorie deficit that you need for the body fat loss. Yeah, yeah. I have had some small success with some PTs by delivering the message of extra, adding extra value to their clients. And that has piqued their interest for anyone who's interested in that. Yeah. Now, Ollie, yeah. you touched on this before, mate. Now, um, uh, you spoke to it right at the very beginning. I just want to rewind and hear your thoughts on this. When PTs work, they get paid per hour, right? And uh, in this business, you have the potential to build a residual income, which basically means you do the work once and you can get continually paid for it. 
how how do you um, punctuate that to PTs when you're when you're speaking to them about the income opportunity as opposed to getting paid per hour, which is very very restrictive. Yeah, I mean, in terms of the actual work um, that PTs do, I always highlight the fact that when you work, you get paid, and if you don't work, you don't get paid. But also, um, because they're in a gym or obviously they're in the fitness industry, they're surrounded by people that take supplements all the time. Yep. And when you start using a product that personally works for you, you naturally start recommending it. And especially if someone sees a difference in you, they're then going to ask you what you're doing. Um, and that's the easiest way to actually get uh, someone in front of the nutritionist, the fact that, um, you're you're seeing they're seeing a change in you, but also you're feeling the change. So yeah. you can naturally start recommending it because PTs get asked what supplements they take all the time or what we recommend. Yeah. So why not turn that recommendation into an income? Because they they either um, if they're sponsored by um, a supplement company, they have it's it's not a discount code, it's a commission code. Yeah. Let's face it. Right. Um, the when someone gives out a code it's not for the consumer to get a discount. It's so that the company know that um, they, that PT or that fitness person has um, pushed them towards their product so they can then get the commission. Got that it. is what our one is. Yeah. We send the link out instead of voucher code. Um, but then say if that client then uh, goes and rebuys from that supplement company's website without putting the voucher code in, they don't get a discount. Whereas when they run out of the product, they automatically have an account that's affiliated with you. So you get paid over and over again, which is obviously what the uh, recurring income is. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Wally, how do we describe Arbonne's value proposition with our products? I mean, we've got the best, cleanest, purest, safest products. How do you articulate that to a PT, mate? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Literally, um, they're health and performance based. That that is it. They they are health and performance based. Right. We give results rather than quick fixes. So with the thirty day plan, it's not just for the thirty days. You're going to uh, learn new habits and a new routine that you can implement eight to twenty after the thirty days. So you you're not just going to stack the weight back on after the thirty days, like many of these. Um, diet plans that uh, people are on because as soon as you feel like you're on a diet you're going to feel you want to cheat yeah. but because we eat so much within the 30 days um, like all whole foods and stuff like that you don't feel like you're on a diet I mean I have a, a shake every single morning I have digestive enzymes I've uh, greens balance I have a fizz stick I have a, a smoothie shake every single morning yeah. You know, and that's my routine. Yeah. Um, it's not only really convenient, but I'm getting all the nutrients I need to kickstart my day as well. So, yeah. yeah. Awesome, mate. So, in a nutshell, what's going to happen is this video is going to be shared a truckload of times. People are going to want to share it with um, prospective PT clients, mate. So, in a nutshell, why would a PT want to do Arbon? Why would a PT want to do Arbon? Oh, you've, you've sort um, of danced around it a bit. <laughs> Let's just nail you down, mate. Yeah, so <clears throat> personal trainers don't have time leverage. This is an ability that you can build a business of your own rather than someone else's business yeah. um, alongside what you're already doing without any added extra work. We have a client base that will benefit from these supplements. So we have supplements. They are there to supplement a whole food diet. We focus on health. We focus on performance. The Phytosport range is the best pre interim post-workout supplement I've ever had. Um, it's, the proof is in the pudding of the products. They work. And if something works, people start to use it over and over again. And we create the time leverage uh, as a personal trainer that we need because every single personal trainer needs time leverage. If you go on holiday, um, you don't get paid. If you're... Uh, clients are sick or the kids are sick you don't get paid so this is something that you can create part-time alongside what you're already doing to create that time leverage so now that I'm a regional vice president with um, my lovely wife Charlie 
I no longer have to worry about clients cancelling or where the next client is coming from. Yeah. Because I have that residual income that is paying for everything. Yeah. In our lives. Yeah. Um, well, it, you know, it, yeah, go on. No, you go, mate, you go. I uh, would rather uh, listen to you than me, mate. So it is so many people, um, well, every single person has residual expenses, residual bills, utility bills, mortgage, rent, you know, you name it. Everybody has it. So why not build a residual reoccurring income from something that you're already doing that's going to benefit your clients in so many ways? If, you're, if, you're the, if you actually want to help your clients, then you want to help them create health on the inside so that they can actually lead a better lifestyle for themselves. Yes. The foods that we eat these days are not nutrient dense. They are literally there. They're grown so quickly that we don't have 50 years ago, broccoli and spinach had something like 50 times the amount of iron that, that they do now. So supplements are there to supplement a whole food diet because all of our foods, even whole foods are nutrient. Um, I don't have as many nutrients in like they once did. That's why the separate industry is a trillion dollar in business. Love that, Ollie. Hey, listen, mate, I have to ask you, what's your favorite product, mate? You're a superstar in this business in the PT world. What's your favorite product, mate? Um, it's tough so, ones, mate. <laughs> I don't think I can say one, if I'm honest. Um, uh, Fistix, oh. I live in. Love them. Uh, Blood Orange is officially my new favourite flavour. Yeah. They better bring it out full time, I tell you. Um, <laughs> citrus, otherwise. Um, but then I love the chocolate protein. But before Arbon, I used to be literally foam shell, um, shave, um, your, your standard two for one post shave balm and stuff like that. Uh, now I have a skincare routine. I don't quite, quite go so far as the makeup, but um, <laughs> I love the genius pads. The genius pads are brilliant. Um, uh -huh. Yeah, I absolutely love them. So yeah, outside of nutrition, probably the, the genius pads are, uh, are my favourite. Yeah, uh, super. Early. Mate, I have a um, a secret love of the gel iPads. I don't know if anyone loves the gel iPads, but when you've had a late night and you chuck the gel iPads on after you've had them in the fridge, it's, they're just amazing. I don't know what they do, but they're ex they're extraordinary. Yeah, I've only used them a few times, uh, probably just before nights out and stuff like that, but I don't have that many nights out now. I've got one-year-olds. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ollie, mate, uh, you're a superstar in PT, mate. You've just about reached the top of this business. For everyone that's just joined the business or that's looking to grow their, their Arbonne business, what's a few of your top tips, mate, from uh, one of the um, rising superstars? Uh, stay the course. There's going to be some highs. There's going to be some fucking lows. Um, there's times that I uh, wanted to quit um, and I took a step back. Uh, but don't do that because at the end of the day, if someone's opinion is not going to pay your bills, but Arbonne will. So if someone is dead against network marketing or Arbonne, um, then that's their opinion. That's fine. Even if it's your mum or your, your spouse or, you, you know, it is you've seen something that they haven't so don't listen to them go out and prove that this business works so i when i first started when i was first introduced um to Arbon, i was actually in a dance group and i introduced all of uh the guys to the skincare and the nutrition and stuff like that they laughed my head off their heads off and they say <laughs> it's never going to work um, you're just wasting your time and money. Who's laughing fast now? Forward. Yeah, fast forward to now. One of those uh, guys is now in my team uh, and is in Area Qual. Uh, he owns his own gym. The other two guys, or the other three guys, um, are still in exactly the same place. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey, Ollie, mate, just before we go, Something just popped up for me, and we've got a young fella, Rob, on here from, uh, I think he's from the Gold Coast. 
He said when we were chatting just before he came on that he had his first no. He's just been in the business a month. He had his first no. So, mate, in this business, you've got to um, really love the no's. And sometimes it's uh, not a no. It's a K-N-O-W. They don't know enough. Yeah, exactly. You handle rejection and the no's, mate. I'm sure you said before that you get heaps of no's. There's going to be people that go, you know, it's easy for Ollie to say, but I got told no today and I'm thinking of quitting the game, mate. It takes so many people out. How's rejection yeah. with you, mate? And that's where the personal development side of things come in. So uh, for the first year of my business, yeah. I, th I was, my confidence was sky high. I danced in front of thousands of people um, on a weekly basis. And um, I thought I didn't need it. But then when something wasn't happening in my business, I thought, right, okay, I've got to do something. Um, so, yeah, personal development. Everyone was telling me to do it. So I've got to do it. Uh, and as soon as I did, um, my, I then went to district manager in two months, uh, area in 11 months, and then I joined uh, my wife as a partner. And then two years after that, we became a regional vice president. Wow. Incredible. Mate, funny, uh, the young fella that uh, got the first no today, he got uh, bounced back because um, the PT was concerned about the cane sugar in the price. He's just put a question up. How would you oh, answer that? Right, okay. So raw cane, raw cane sugar in its natural state is actually a low GI carbohydrate. And in it, because it's in its raw state, it has all of the vitamins and minerals that come attached to it. So the 15 grams of carbohydrate is slow digesting. The nine grams of what's it is sugar is equivalent to half an apple. So I'm sure that personal trainer is not going to stop their clients having half an apple and saying, oh, that's too much sugar. Yeah. So it's very much about education um, of uh, PT. So personal trainers, when you go through the qualifications, you do about five minutes of nutrition. Uh, oh, where have we gone? So Charlie had just had a phone call. <laughs> Um, where am I? Yeah, you're, you're still with us. <laughs> yeah, still see me. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, so it's when, when someone does their qualifications for personal training, um, nutrition is not covered in large amounts. So, yes, we know how to train someone on a basic level um, in the gym, but when it comes to nutrition, you have to learn. So with everything out in the world in terms of nutrition of all the diets and, and stuff like that, that um, are pushed out to us saying, this is the next best thing. This is the best thing for you. Um, it is, it's a minefield and even personal, personal trainers at the start, they don't have an idea of what it is. Yeah. So we have to learn um, quickly to get the best for the, for the clients. So unless they've done an extra nutrition qualification on top of their personal training, they don't have a lot of extra knowledge on top of the everyday person. Yeah. Mate, I think possibly that comes back to what you're saying about the ego at the beginning, yeah? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, Ollie, if it's okay with you, we're going to wrap it up in a few minutes. Is it okay if we open up to a couple of questions? If anybody has yeah, a question yeah, yeah. that they want yeah. to uh, whip out, and I'll ask Ollie. Uh, Rob's also said to use the protein for post workout repair or just the protein? Um, depends on where, when I'm eating. Yeah. Uh, so I always, I always use fire sport, some pre intro and post workout. Um, I do add in creatine before and after, yeah. uh, R1 don't do creatine. Um, so I use another brand. Um, so I use have five milligrams before and five milligrams after. Okay. Uh, anyone else got any questions they want to ask Ollie before we, uh, let him go. I mean, this, this has been incredible, Ollie. I think this um, is going to be hugely, um, hugely popular, mate. You've asked, answered all the questions that we've all been wanting to ask. It doesn't look like there's any more questions. So, hang on. What would be the biggest things? Uh, thanks, Holly. Um, Holly's just said, what would be the biggest things to avoid when approaching a PT as a prospect? There's a super question. Um, meal replacements, quick fixes, because also we're not. Um, and in terms of business, 
I would personally lead with helping their clients rather than making their money. Yeah. So focus on time leverage for them um, and uh, helping their clients out. Yeah. Mate, here's, here's a good one. And it touches on the, uh, from Laura Eastwood, which is pretty cool. How do you politely deal with an obvious ego in a PT prospect? <laughs> um, good one, Laura. Move on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and the thing is, um, you can only give them certain amount of information. Um, and it's, you have to allow them to decide what they want to do with that information. If right. they don't even want to look into it, then until they turn, uh, turn, until they turn themselves around, they're saying, right, okay, I need to change something and look into other, th other things, then uh, they won't do, they won't, not only will they not do Arbonne, but they won't actually be successful in Arbonne. Yeah, yeah, got it. Mate, from Lily Harris, she's asked that a few people have said that there isn't enough protein in the products. What would you say to this? Okay, so this goes back to um, you. It's not what you eat; it's um, what you absorb from what you eat. Mm -hmm. So, because the the Arbon protein's got twenty grams of plant-based protein, you absorb a hundred percent of that protein. Okay, so um, it's quality rather than quantity. So your average whey protein's uh, got about forty grams of uh, protein in it. Um, the body won't digest all of that forty grams mainly because it's dairy so the, uh, the body hasn't evolved enough to completely digest dairy so it's then going to go to waste so uh, a little bit of biology um the protein molecule is too large to get filtered through the kidney so it has to go through the liver um so which obviously puts the liver under stress if you eat too much protein then you, your liver is going to be overworked right. um and then obviously the quality of uh, the actual protein in the uh, supplement in the first place um, also goes to the amount of nutrient uh, nutrient uptake as well. So although they're thinking they're actually absorbing the, that 40 grams, you're not, they're not actually going to be doing it. So yeah, again, it goes back to a bit of education saying, <laughs> or, uh, saying that it's uh, very much about uh, nutrient uptake rather than just consuming a, a large amount of protein. Yeah, mate, you may have mate, asked, answered a bit of one of my questions, and that was so many, so many uh, gym goers and PTs talk about protein and, I, and they are wedded to their whey isolates and their whey proteins. We come along with a vegan protein. Um, what's your approach when they say, oh, no, I love my whey isolate, blah, blah, blah? What do you say to that? Um, when, when it comes to clients, um... I normally say, do you uh, normally get a bit of bloat or a bit of um, uh, mucus in, in, your, uh, in your throat after consuming uh, your protein shake? And they normally say yes. But yeah. that's an intolerance to uh, dairy. Um, yeah. That's one thing that I noticed when I transitioned over from whey protein to the Arbonne protein is that I actually got um, leaner a lot quicker. Yeah. Mainly because I didn't even realise I had an intolerance, a slight intolerance, albeit, but... I always bloated out when I had my, uh, my whey protein shake, and now I don't. Right, mate. Um, now, Craig, my mate from Adelaide, he said, you a fan of the Phyto, Phyto Sport range? I think you've already answered that, Craig. He answered it a little bit earlier. And Karina has said, um, uh, if you'd like to send a message to a PT to start a conversation off before phone calls and all so I'm thinking that uh, Kareem wants to connect with a PT. What would be the best thing to state in an opening conversation without sounding like you're bombarding or uh, spamming, Ollie? Um, so I always keep the first initial message uh, short and sweet yep. uh, because you don't want to give someone half a story. Yeah, uh, They will quite easily make up the other half. Um, I normally just say, hey, buddy, how you doing? Um, I've, I'm a PT like yourself. Uh, I've... Um, I've got an online business, health and fitness business that I'm um, building alongside my PT work that's actually benefiting uh, my personal training as well. I'd love to have a chat with you about it. Would you be open for a phone call? And that's it. If you're not a PT, just say that um, you're building an online health and fitness business and you're working with personal trainers. Uh, I'd love to share some information with you. Um, just keep it short and sweet. If they don't message, if they see it and they don't message, literally wait a couple of days to say, hey, um, I know life gets a bit hectic. Um, I just wanted to do a, a follow-up message just to see um, if you'd be interested in uh, hearing some more information. And then 
uh, a lot of people do respond, but then if they ignore that one, then I normally move on. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, Ollie, I think uh, we've run out of questions. I'm sure people are going to think of a heap more, but you've covered so much ground in half an hour, mate. And what a superstar, mate. It's been... I think I, I could listen to you all night, mate. I think um, there's just so many pearls of wisdom there, and I think this is going to be an incredibly valuable um, YouTube clip that we're going to be able to share all over the place. Mate, thank you for your contribution to the Avon Inspired Men's Group and everything you are in the world, mate. You're an absolute legend and uh, can't wait to see you walk the stage at GTC, my friend. Yes. Well, we're actually working towards Nation Qual um, before Vegas. Um, so we're, we're in huge momentum right now. So we're, we're not stopping. Literally, Incredible. Maui 2021 is happening. Incredible, mate. So you better, your wife better get two outfits. She's going to be walking twice, right? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> super, Molly. Man, it's been really amazing getting to chat. And um, I think everyone here at the Greek has been outstanding. So thank you again, mate. And for everything. Yeah, glad, glad it's helped everyone. Yeah, oh, mate, it's been, mate, this has been the most anticipated interview I've done. And I think I've done about 60 of them. So well done, mate. I really appreciate it. For everyone, there's going to be another uh, incredible entrepreneur that we're going to interview next week. Ollie, keep kicking goals, mate. I look forward to those two walks of the stage at GTC. At, um, at GTC. And for everyone else, thanks for being on the call. It's really incredible to see what engagement we've got in this, uh, this community. I really appreciate everything that uh, you're here for. Inspiring entrepreneurs, that's our one. Thank you so much, guys. I'll end this now. Share the hell out of it. Good on you, Ollie. Bye, mate. Bye. Yes, bye-bye now.